No, there we go. Let's see if I can adjust this. All right, awesome. Hey, so uh, BTP fans, I am uh, here with Nick from uh, Worthy Painting in the UK. And this is now his fourth plug. I'm like the magic leprechaun that comes out. I'm like, you have three plugs. And the person's like, that's a good thing, right? So uh, right now I'm entering payroll into my, I'm entering payroll into my uh, spreadsheet. I'm entering the payroll into my spreadsheet so I can keep track of, yep. So I can keep track of the money. Balance in the checkbook is effectively what this is. Yep. Yeah, I'm doing great. So, uh, what's new with you? Talk to me about projects you've had recently. Um, we've got a custodian project that we're working on at the moment. Custodian? You know, like the army of janitors? <laughs> yeah, basically. They're just going to be cleaning. They've got brooms. Well, and, yeah. Uh, pots and buckets, dangerous stuff. Warning you, signs. <laughs> you've, you've heard of Adeptus Custodes? Well, yeah. there was also a little known faction called Adeptus Custodians. And uh, they, they were the emperor's janitors. Yeah. I'm well, falling off the bottom of the screen here. There we go. Okay, keep going. Yeah. So you're working on an Adeptus Custodes project? It's actually for a guy on YouTube called Templar's Crusade. I don't know if you've yeah. ever seen the channel. No. But yeah, he's a pretty good guy. And he, he's, he does a lot of pre-heresy stuff. He's really quite like fanatic and follow it because I love all that sort of stuff. I love all the fluff of the olden days, kind of like the history. I love it. So yeah, he, he sort of like got us to do some of the custodians. Quite fired up about it as well. We're doing that. It's quite a lot of bits. Just for 20, it's 20 guys, but it's going to be, I think in each model, there's sourced about 20 pieces from 20 different kits. It's insane. Uh, did he send all the parts to you? No, no, we had to source everything as well. So. Oh wow, that's hardcore. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we sourced everything and we just... That's like $20 a figure. Yeah, for yeah, all the bits for those things. Yeah. Possibly, I think it's a little bit more. Yeah. Because every single one's got a Space Marine Captain's cloak. Wow. Uh, uh, the um, Cyborg miniatures heads on them. Oh, the that's Sanguine fantastic. Guard, Sanguinine Guard bodies. Mm -hmm. um, some uh, Sanguinine Guard legs as well. Uh, Grey Knight halberds with the top chopped off them, and then a bolter, and then the, the blade attached to the bolter, and then a a spike from the chaos vehicle set <laughs> so yeah it's been like you know basically sourcing through piles of bits going what can we use and we've got the um visions of heresy book that were references like you know to get the pictures and stuff like that so we're basically got these pictures and we're trying to copy it exact you know model. right wow that's impressive yeah it's good fun, yeah, it's good fun. It's good yeah fun. i have a commission now for uh two Adeptus Custodes Dread Knight, Dread Knights. So we've got a base. We got to give them like force halberds and give them that whole yeah. feel to it. That'll be fun. But uh, well, they're, 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 like, well, they've got what is it? The um, what's that? Dreadnought, the Furioso Dreadnought. That's got a really cool halberd in it. You know that blade. Yeah. That. In fact, we we might use that. I I don't know. It depends. He's given us a pretty long leash on the conversions budget. So we'll probably, you know, whatever it is, that, we'll just that make it that ship. amazing. That Did and the what? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's done. It looks great. That looks so cool, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> that is great. <laughs> what else have we got on? We got a Big Sisters of Battle Army that should be finished tomorrow. Um, we got two huge Eldar armies, huge, huge ones. They're really cool as well. They're both for Ulfwe as well. Oh, okay. You know, the black, the black yeah, that's a that's a great one to paint. Yeah, yeah, really good, really good. Um, what else we got? We got a Legion of uh, Everblight army. Legion of Everblight, the huge Warriors of Chaos army, which are doing Slanesh, which is my favorite. So lots of purples and golds. Uh huh. Yeah, really like them. Got five guys now, sure. Five painters. No kidding. 
Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Five painters and two builders, but we're all working from home at the moment, so it's a nightmare. nightmare. Oh yeah. Well, at that level, you should have you should be finding your own space. Oh well, it's Christmas time, and it's so it's a nightmare trying to sort anything out this time of year. Oh right. Yeah, well, but so it's like it's Christmas. mental, isn't it? Meaning not in the British sense. <laughs> I get that metal. It's but metal. I mean, it's it's in their minds. Oh, it's Christmas, yeah. therefore every nothing can be done. Everything can be late, it's, it's you know. Yeah, it was, it was it was the holidays. They were crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. So it was crazy. Yeah, but it is crazy to try and get anything for now. It's a poor reason for picking a man's pocket every December the twenty fifth. <laughs> no, what we what we did then. Um, That's well, Ebenezer well, Scrooge, by the way. I've actually, uh, I've actually got a business partner. We're opening up a store. No crap. I know. It's going Good to be in our you. local, uh, a local impression. Oh, uh, and I remember you, this pathetic little telemarketer <laughs> that didn't think he could do it on his own. Yeah, so, like, yeah, we're opening up a full gaming store in the center of Preston. This well, is that's great. Good for you. Yeah. Um, what is it? So we're going to be opening up that together. Hopefully, well, by, by sort of February time, that's when we worthy painting into the building we're going to establish worthy painting in there because when people come in the store we're going to have ready-made armies on the shelves and it's oh fantastic. well that's pretty good so, like, combine a painting thing with the retail area yeah that's good yeah if i could go back in time that's what i would have done in oregon yeah well fortunately preston's got quite a condensed area and there's a lot of war gamers around here you know and it's within an hour's drive of i think it's about eight big cities Wow. So, you know, what we're trying to do is create, like, a good hub. Like, you know, they can come in and just buy, a like, you know, like the starter boxes. This is the goal. Right. We're going to get the Space Marine starter force, you know, the battle box, whatever it's called. Paint one of them up in, like, Blood Angels, Ultramarines. We're going to pick really well-recognized armies that will go on the shelves because right. it will make a perfect present as well. Because if we start doing some mad, unique armies, you know, they're not right. going to be as well. You know, they need to be eye-catching them immediately. So you can look at them and go, they're blood angels. I want blood angels. You know what I mean? Like, so that's the goal with them. Right. Okay, we're, we're back on now. Oh, okay. So anyway, hold, hold on a second. Let's catch people up. Um, what was it? Uh, you're also doing War Machine. Yeah. And uh, you're thinking of uh, doing some Infinity. Uh, I mentioned that uh, I did an interview with Corvus Belly, and that that's Latin for crow's belly. <laughs> but not really. Is I think it needs beautiful crow. Something like that. Crow. Yeah, I don't know. No. I like the models they're doing on there. The guy who does the painting for their box art is just phenomenal. I always look at that and look at his pictures and just think, wow. Well, when I was at Adepticon last, um, yeah. They, uh, I found out at Cool Mini that the cost to paint one of those display quality infantry figures is starts starting price, mind you, is five hundred U.S. dollars. Makes about sense. Well, the amount of hours. And it, oh yeah, anything. it makes perfect sense to me. But I, I don't think people understand when they're, because we get requests right. like that. Oh, can you paint it like the art on the thing? Uh, and I'm like, yeah, we can paint it like that. <laughs> you know. But it's like not for eight dollars. No. Um, no. But in mo That's most of the time, that is what they mean. Well, by, by like, they just mean that color scheme, kind of that general thing. Uh, but to, well, found, to, uh, yeah. Where they paint it, a lot of people who've uh, commissioned us or done something we generally want what's on the boxes because I think that's more of our style. Is very, you know, it's very. It's a very style to games work. So a lot of people who kind of con wanted what's on the box, grey knights to look like grey knights, you know, like, right now, we haven't had that much leeway to really go crazy with an army, we get people have an idea and they want, like an ultramarine army, so right, we want ultramarines, you know, the way they look on the box, that's, right. that's generally the briefs that we get, we've had a couple of cool stuff, um, we just did the Warhound Pike too, and it's not like we did it with red, with a glock there, the, brief that the guy gave me, he sent me a picture of the uh, Bra a Scorpion from Forge World and a picture of the Marauder Destroyer, the one with the sort of tiger uh, pattern across 
Manchester, and that was sort of like the break. You know, it was like I want a deep red. Do you want to see red? We're selling Tiger Stripes. What we can find over there. Yeah. Oh that's wow. Sort of great set. And then we expanded on that, and then the <laughs> it had five different weapon options on there as well. But we, uh, you know, we had a, like a screw, a screw top caption thing to change the arms interchangeable, that sort of thing. Right. No, so that that's uh, that was quite. So did you finish that one already? The uh, yeah, yeah, the, bit, the brass yeah, scorpion. Yeah, well, the brass scorpion Titan. Yeah, yeah, that's up now. That Titan, we finished that. And that's actually that model, even though like Forge World, it's very complex. Uh, actually, had less parts than I thought. Oh, like yeah. when I well, first saw that, I thought they would make every segment on the carapace a different thing. Like that's Forge World's MO is to make it in a zillion different pieces. Uh, but this it's just like one basic giant chunk of a body. Yeah, well it's like two bits and you stick the body together. The feet is the main thing because it's a lot of pistons and if you want to position feet in a strange angle then you've got to like chop and change the pistons to be able to fit it. You know, but then the possibilities for positioning the Titan is endless, which is cool. But, you know, if you want to, because the guy didn't want to have a base on it, he wanted it to be free of base, so we had to do it in a specific way so it was balanced, especially with two arms on it, one would be heavier than the other. Right. Bolt and med mega bolt was quite heavy, so we had to make sure it was balanced. You know, so that, that was cool. I actually saw you guys did uh, the two, re you did a read the Titan with the two more pounds, that was it, yeah, very good cool stuff. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty big project. We're working on another Reaver right now. Yeah, I think yeah, we'd cool love there. to do it's more Titans. They're neat. Yeah, they are neat. Well, we did the Elder Phantom Titan a while back now. Um, that was just painted for um, the worthy painting, just sort of like as a showcase piece to show what we can kind of do when we were starting up. And uh, yeah, we did the Reaver Titan then. We did it in yellow as well, yellow and blue. I can't actually remember what, is it I in then or something like that? Right, yellow. yeah, I, I saw that one. Yeah. And I have to say that looked really nice. Yeah, we really chopped with the way. Because we used inks on that as well. You don't, you know. Yeah, you don't usually use inks on something that large. Yeah, we were pretty like, you know, we thought we'd try something different. And because it was yellow and it's a tough color yellow, you want it to be smooth. So we built it up with ink and stuff like that. So it was something going old school, that's what we were calling it. You know, because everything was inks before all the washes come out. It was all inks. So we went old school and did fill up the yellow through inks. Had a workshop. Yeah, well, I, I can't talk right now. Um, however, I think it's delightful, but I am balancing the checkbook while we're talking. All right, is so, it balancing in the right way? There you go. Uh, well, that, that remains to be seen. I, I, <laughs> I, I believe it will. I, I, keep pretty, I keep pretty close tabs on everything. Yeah. Well, that's the trick. Have you got, that, have you got any other injuries? That, that tight wire gets, just keeps getting higher. It's no harder to walk it, but it's higher off the ground. Well, it's worth it when you when you look over your shoulder and you see that beautiful building that you're in. It's definitely worth mm -hmm. it. You know, that's a place you want to be painting in. Beautiful, beautiful. So, have you got any other interviews planned? Yeah, the the, like um, the real um, the real asset is the people. Yeah. That that that's that's really the big thing. We've got a great team there as well. The assembly team, I always like it when you... Are they still in that room that was down the stairs or have they all moved downstairs now? Uh, they're down. All right, because I remember you said... I think uh, I watched one of your videos, the bounty hunt or something like that. <laughs> bounty hunting. And there's like, go and get someone, you owe me a pound or something like that. <laughs> oh, about, yeah. The little room looked like a lot of fun. The little assembly room, that looked like a load of fun. Yeah, out of the boss's eyes messing around in there building building big pirate ships. Now that's a dream. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a good place to work. Yeah, I'm just going to go and check on something just real quick. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it might be one or two minutes. <laughs> right. No, no. Homer Simpson. <laughs> Stan Smith. Homer Simpson. Um, okay, so wh what, were you, what were you asking me? Oh, yeah, about adding people. Yeah, you said 50 by the end of... Yeah, that was actually a mistype. Because if you read it, it says 50 by the end of 2012, 
50 by the end of 2013. That's not the case. It's uh, 30 by the end of 2012. And right now we're at 20. So it's not, you know, it's not like. Yeah, I was going to say, wow. But it's, 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 it's good growth. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of companies would really be glad to uh, be experiencing that much growth. Absolutely. Well, I think in, I don't know, by the end of 2012, I'd hope to be up to about 10 with the expansion with Worthy Painting. That would be nice. Probably about four assemblers, six or seven painters would be lovely. Because then, like, you know, at the moment, our turnaround time is good. But... I want it to be better. Right. You know I mean? I That's the trick, is you have to staff it properly. Yeah. You know. I want it to, it's, it's good at the moment, and you know, we're working, you know, as hard as we can to get this stuff out as fast as possible. You know, right. but I think, uh, you know, getting people in to help with the turnaround time, and like with the store that we was telling you about, that will help cut the cost of waiting for models to come in, because we have everything initially there. Well, the problem with, and I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying the problem with a retail place is you're getting, is the margins. You're getting 45% off on your figures if you have a GW account, right? Yeah. So, and then, so you're yeah. trying to take something that's $55 and sell it for $100. So you make 45, right? Well, if you discount, that's death. But you're, you're in competition with the discounters right yeah. so so your best thing is to keep things in stock and just hope for the uh the loyalty buy and the um and the uh gotta have it right now buy mm -hmm. and so uh so there's that but you also have entropy so let's say games workshop redoes models a model range guess what that 500 dollars of necrons you have sitting on your shelf just got reduced in value to zero yeah. and then you have shoplifting and then you have the overhead of the brick and mortar store, and it, it it is it is very challenging. And uh, but I, I do have some ideas on how you could circumvent that. One is what you've already come up with, which is uh, incorporate the painting into it. But see, then that creates kind of a drag on your painting thing, unless the retail aspect is thriving. So, big hold on a second. I'm about to save your life. Are you ready? Okay, save it. I'm gonna save your marriage. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, because basically, you know, if you don't listen to me now, in your future is a one-bedroom apartment that smells like Nick's piss. <laughs> okay. Sounds, I'm listening. Here it comes. Sorry, the introduction was too long. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, no, here it is. No, 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 I remember. Oh, no, I doomed you. Why? Why can't I remember things? Okay, so here it is. Um, it's traffic. So the common wisdom, the common wisdom is that you need to get into a high traffic area so that you'll have lots of walk-in traffic. Not so. Go do the opposite of that. You, as a game shop, you're a destination. So what you do is you find a good rent, a good lease, a good situation, but off the beaten track. It's cheaper. It's cheaper to take upstairs. It's cheaper to yeah. take the place that's out, you know, around the corner. So look for that. Also, um, do the math on renovations. So for example, our last studio was 800 a month for, I do believe it was, the upstairs was like, I remember I'm going to say it's like about 1,600 square feet. So I got it at 50 cents a square foot, very reasonable, uh, but I put in about $4,000 of renovations on it. So because we only stayed there like 15 months, I only broke even on that whole thing. But if we had stayed longer, so the landlord was happy because we were out in 15 months, but all the improvements we made were in like yeah, new condition. Because you, you got like a re, redid the bathroom, you redid everything, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Well, the big thing was carpet and paint. So, so look for those places that would, with just a little yeah. TLC, you can make it. Here's another idea. Uh, when I first started my game shop in Oregon, it was on the following wise. 
Uh, we had a local comic book shop that didn't know anything about war games. It was the only game shop in the area. So I was kind of the liaison to the war gaming guys. Uh, they would actually come out to my house to play. Uh, at one time, my wife came home and there were eight game tables set up in our apartment. And one of them was set up on our bed. Like she came in the bedroom and these two guys were like, hey, how's it going? Sit like, cause there was like a big piece of plywood on our bed and they were sitting on either side. And she was like, she's like, uh, honey, can I talk to you? It's like that scene in the sitcom, you know, doesn't be like, what's going on? You know, she's like, this has to stop, you know? And, and in fact, later that night, she started like, what's this under the couch? Someone had stuffed all their Taco Bell trash underneath the couch. Oh, no. So she's just pulling out like all these Taco Bell, oh, it was, it was slovenly, it was beyond the pale. So what I did is I got 14 of my guys together and I said, okay, I want you guys to be co-conspirators here. I want you each to pay me $50 a month. And if you do, so it's like a club, it's like a club membership. If you yeah. pay me the $50 a month, I will give you a key to the place so you can come down and play anytime you like. And we found a nice little office space for like 800 a month. This is back in Oregon. And so we'll give you a key and we will, uh, but I'll also give you a discount. They had access to the wholesale accounts. Do you see how sweet that action is? Yes, yes. So sweet. what happened is I was bringing in, you know, let's say it was 14 guys, uh, cause I kept selling, um, like these club type memberships. Uh, yeah. and, and it was month to month. So I was bringing in 700 a month and uh, so real, my only real expense was the 100 a month plus the utilities. Do you see how that works? So I just gave you two awesome ideas. The other thing is to live in your shop. There's three. No, I'm serious. You, you can find places with what I guess you would call a flat. In corporate, like sometimes above, sometimes behind. Uh, and they, um, yeah, there's a lot of businesses out there. If you look for them that have a uh, washer dryer hookup bathroom shower the whole the worked kitchen yeah yeah but now, i don't know how your wife will feel about that but uh, when you when you start rolling out the benjamins the good ones she'll change her tune well it's a it's a joint venture for the store so it's me and a guy uh, and fortunately there's going to be no hefty bank loans or anything like that. We're going to be avoiding. Oh yeah, D don't get loans. That's what they. That's what they teach the numbskulls on. Uh, hey, uh, on uh, movies and TV. Want to start a business? Where's your first stop? The bank. You need capital. So you go in. Yeah. Please, sir, may I have some money? <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, I gotta go. I have a, a visitor here. No problem. All right. Hey, uh, good talking to you, Nick. You too. Um, you have a great Christmas if I don't catch you before.